Welcome to this RCCS24, New Features, Presentation. In this video, we'll take a look at the main new features of RCCS24, which is now available for purchase, for new customers, or for immediate download for current subscribers. Let's create a new Cottage Kitchen sample file, via the AI dropdown. Next, we'll activate a 3D view, and start the Cottage Kitchen AI. Once the kitchen is built, you'll notice that infills have been created around each of the cabinetry components, in the traditional, cottage cabinetry style. Rack frame shelving, is another new AI function, within RCCS24. This sample file can be created, by entering the number 7, into the RCCS24 data entry box, and pressing the AI Sample Projects button. Next, we'll enter a value of 250mm into the RCCS data entry box, and select the Rack Frame Shelf AI, to build the model. You'll see from the 3D view, that all the shelving is automatically set between the box frame components. This type of shelving system is great as a standalone shelf unit, or, it can be used to create overhead kitchen shelving. Cabinetry door and drawer panel thickness, can now be adjusted in RCCS24. Simply enter a viable value, and press the panel thickness button, located under the detail dropdown. Panel thickness, inset depth, and emboss depth, can each intelligently adjust the internal shelf setback, automatically. Also, inset depth and emboss depth functions, now automatically adjust the front panel thickness, as well as the internal shelf setback, when deeper values are entered. Another major new feature of RCCS24, is the six handle material presets, that are available via the new handle material dropdown, located on the material tab. You can change individual handle materials with single scope active, or, change all cabinetry handle materials simultaneously, with global scope active. The new smart handles feature of RCCS24, automatically sets both drawer, and cabinetry door handles, in or out, depending on inset settings and thicknesses, as well as handle location. Refrigerator handle lengths, will now adjust automatically in RCCS24, depending on the orientation of the handles. In previous versions of RCCS, it was only possible to adjust the outermost edge radius. Now, in RCCS24, you can also adjust the inset edge radius, for added styling options for your cabinetry design. RCCS24, now has two additional cooktops, with both 760mm, and 900mm, gas ranges, available from the miscellaneous drop-down menu. 
RCCS24, allows you to create solid oven doors, simply by turning off insets. These types of doors are common, on large, traditional ranges. You can now create your own custom tiling and paneling, in RCCS24, with the new tiling functions. It's even possible to generate tile grout, by using the preset grout mullion feature, which is loaded into every RCCS template, and sample file. Please allow a bit of extra time to regenerate your model, once tiling is enabled. There are also two new tile-specific model materials, located in the Model Material dropdown. Let's now try out the paint function, and paint some custom border tiles across the splashback. There are virtually unlimited tiling and paneling possibilities, with these new functions, in RCCS24. Another major new feature in RCCS24, is wainscoting. It's best practice to create separate RCCS host walls, as well as separate views, for editing and creating tiling and wainscoting. It's also a great idea, to offset wainscoting host walls, from the main cabinetry host walls, for easier access and editing. Wainscoting panels can be created either individually, or by activating global scope, and pressing the populate button, located in the infill drop-down menu. This process will automatically assign wainscoting, to any unassigned, blank RCCS panels. Most of the detailing types, and detailing adjustments, that are available for cabinetry, are also available for wainscot panels. Insets, moldings, and embossing, are all available, as well as their respective adjustment functions. You can easily offset the wainscot panels with a negative value, so that they sit correctly, at any time. Please note, that the maximum negative offset value of any RCCS panel, is the depth value of the panel itself. So only offset the wainscot host walls, away from the cabinetry host walls, to the minimum required for editing purposes. RCCS24 wainscot panels are just as easy to edit, as any other RCCS component. For a seamless wainscot paneling look, simply set the outer edge radius of each panel, to have a zero value, and make sure the adjacent panels are joined.
you can adjust any wainscot detailing settings individually with the single scope toggle active or activate the global scope toggle to affect all wainscot panels in an isolated wainscot 3D view. We'll now finish off this RCCS24 wainscoting demonstration by changing the inset's materials to finish one boards to match the rest of the cabinetry components. Now, let's take a look at the finished wainscot paneling and detailing. Another new feature in RCCS24 is the ability to set either vertical or horizontal glazing bars to have a zero value. This type of design may suit more modern or even mid 20th century cabinetry styling. Under the detail type drop down menu, there are now three new embossing types, as well as three new molding types available in RCCS24. Some traditional cabinetry, such as cottage or farmhouse style cabinetry, may have insets made up of separate boards. RCCS24 has three new inset material types to cater for this type of cabinetry detail. You can even adjust the tone of any of these inset materials to suit your project and still maintain the board appearance. Space frame materials can now be easily changed by using the two new space frame model materials found under the model materials drop down menu. These materials can be changed either individually or globally. In RCCS24, you now have the ability to create new projects with both the standard RCCS template as well as a user customizable template. The custom template can be accessed from the RCCS toolbar by activating option 2 on the scope option 2 toggle and pressing the new project button. Some regions and countries around the world that use the metric system prefer using centimeters as a standard measure. RCCS24 fully support centimeter input when the length units of a project are set to centimeters. The RCCS wall tool has now been simplified, so there is no longer the need to enter a level name prior to pressing the wall button. The new minimum inset frame width in RCCS24 can now be set to a minimum of 5 mm. With this new frame width minimum, you can now create modern, minimalistic inset doors and panels for your cabinetry designs.
Finally, let's take a look at the new RCCS plan view filter that makes all overhead cabinetry transparent with hidden line work. This view filter can be toggled on or off or customized to meet your office standards. Thanks for watching this RCCS24 new features video. RCCS24 is now available for purchase if you're a new customer. If you have a current active RCCS subscription, please log into your account to download RCCS24. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Bye for now.